Now how about this scenario over here, where the doomsayers turned out to be right and we didn't take action. Now since we granted the extreme up here, we should grant the extreme down here. And in that case it gets kind of ugly because we've got an economic, political, social, environmental, and public health catastrophes on a global scale. This is your worst case scenario. This is the sea level rising 10, 20 feet, entire coastal countries disappearing, hundreds of millions of people worldwide displaced, crowding in on their neighbors, causing widespread warfare over scarce resources and long-standing hatreds. We've got entire forests die and burn, massive droughts alternating with catastrophic floods. We've got the, the uh, breadbaskets of the USA and Russia turned to dust bowls causing catastrophic famines, terrible disease epidemics spreading like wildfire, hurricanes like Katrina becoming the norm. I mean, this is a world straight out of science fiction. Economic collapse because the global economy has been hit by crisis after crisis. This is a world that makes Al Gore look like a sissy Pollyanna with no guts who sugarcoated uh, the bad news. Okay, so we've simplified things here a little bit. The clue should be the smiley faces. Any diagram of smiley faces certainly has some complexities underneath. And do this yourself. Add the complexities back in. Use pencil and paper and put some odds in here. Use the, uh, play with the mild cases, not just the extreme cases on both sides. Put in some intermediates in between these dichotomies. And I think you'll see that the following argument still arrives at the same inescapable conclusion.